A few years ago, there was a person in a studio somewhere who shouted out in a flash of inspiration that women shouldn't have meat between their thighs, that gaps were the new thing. So I had to take a pair of scissors and cut a hole there and have to check on every reflective surface that I pass that I haven't accidentally filled it up with midnight ice cream or lunchtime Coke. Did you know that I can play piano? I'm actually pretty good. Where I come from, when a girl turns 13, she's given the gift of a permanent chokehold around her rib cage. It was designed to keep her still, I think. I remember being excited for mine until I turned 20 and realized I hadn't breathed properly in seven years, and the best part of my day was taking it off. So I freed myself of it, but fell into another trap. This one is invisible. This one makes you nervous when it's cold, when two apparently blinding lights appear, keeping you hunched over in case someone thinks you're trying to make them see. So you roll yourself inwards instead and sit inside your rib cage. I'm also really good at swimming. I did lifeguard training and everything. One time I saved my brother from nearly drowning. Have you ever woken up to realize that your body had been allocating some of your life to build another one, but it missed the memo that you don't want to, so it spilled it out onto your bed or into your jeans? My mattress is full of these reminders that my body is constantly searching and not finding, scratching me from the inside, trying to crawl out of my gut, taking my energy so I have to sit in one place and think about it, laughing that I live in a world where I'm not supposed to shout about how pads are uncomfortable, I'm always scared that I've bled through my clothing, my mood might be different, but it's still me, so take me seriously. Why do I have to pay money for these things, so much money for these things? I had to download an app to remember when the next one would be. Tampons are kind of terrifying. Changing pads in a public toilet is terrifying. I had the realization that the packaging is going to kill the planet, which is ironic because I'm making the world worse for any baby. I studied really hard for four years and have a degree and I'm going to use it to make things that I love. I want to read more and eat more chocolate, cuddle more, sleep in more. I want to write a book and make more art. And I want to try pottery because everyone wants to try pottery. And I want to do it all in a room where the walls are size sixes and size sixteens. And I don't even notice because as long as it's keeping me safe, it doesn't matter.